Oh, hello there. Now in photography, as beginners, we learn certain things. We learn how to use our cameras properly. We learn how to take photos. We learn techniques. We learn how to compose a picture and then process that picture once we start shooting raw. There are, of course, countless photography YouTube videos promising to reveal how you can do this better, that better, revealing five beginner mistakes to avoid, things that you should be doing differently because apparently you may be doing them wrong. But who is to say you are doing these things wrong? Who are these photographers to say their way is a better way? Photography is an art form after all, an art to perfect, but also an art to express oneself with. So with the freedom of art to interpret this as you wish, who's to say you are doing things wrong? You can, of course, follow the guidance of others to do things their way, to change your approach and technique, and thus follow a more formulated path and design. But then are you doing your art or just copying someone else's? If you take the advice because you want your images to look more like your favorite photographers, then how will you keep your own individuality? It's good to pick up tips along the way to perhaps speed up the learning process you go through to become the photographer you want to be. But you have to be careful not to copy someone else's ideals too much and therefore be true to your own vision of your art. However, saying that, what's the rush? Why the fast track to become better? Why not find your own path, naturally, organically? The advantage of this is that you won't be over-influenced by other photographers' ways of doing things. There's always the danger that learning precisely from others will shape you as a photographer in a different way than you may have intended. It's for the same reason why I don't quite get these presets you can buy. Many photographers want to sell you their Lightroom presets to help give your images a certain look. But of course, this is their look, their way of processing. Again, all this will do is make your images look like theirs. Again, at the risk of your own individuality. Being influenced and inspired by a photographer is very different to being taught by one. Photography is a learning process and one way to learn, the best way to learn in fact, is by making mistakes yourself and learning from those. Make mistakes. Don't worry about the mistakes. Use these mistakes as your research, your guidance, as an incentive even to try again. Now, of course, I, like many photographers, run the photography workshops. I teach beginners the basics of photography and how to use their camera. I teach them about apertures and shutter speeds and how to create a basic composition. I'm always careful not to take this too far, however. I want them to take this basic knowledge and then progress on their own as a photographer, making mistakes along the way if needs be. For this reason, I also offer the more advanced photographers who book with me a Develop Your Star workshop. This then encompasses what I'm saying here. I offer to teach and guide them for the day, but I'm ultimately helping them improve and progress in their own style. I don't really want to show them the things to shoot. Instead, I want them to show me what appeals to them, and then I can help them make the best of that in their style, not mine. So I'm not telling you to avoid the basic advice given for beginners or avoid these list style videos. If you gain knowledge from them, brilliant, but do proceed with caution. Who's to say this advice is correct? On what basis are these beginner mistakes they advise against actually mistakes? So-called photography mistakes may not be mistakes after all then. They may be just a different way of doing things, different from what is traditionally accepted. You don't need me to tell you that these videos are often no more than clickbait and sometimes more about views and perhaps genuine advice. I don't mean these photographers are trying to con you in any way, but they often follow the same formula, offer the same advice, advice that I feel can stifle real creativity. And I know all about these list style videos too. I, I've done one or two myself in the past. I quickly found, however, how formulated they can appear. I soon realised then that they weren't the way to go and not how I wanted to present this channel. The whole point of this series of videos is to perhaps broaden your way of thinking, to make you think differently about your photography and your own approach. I'm not here to preach ways of doing things, but instead encourage you to take your own path, take more chances, be willing and open to making mistakes and find in photography a more creative and enlightening art form. I keep mentioning the art of photography. I call this series the art of photography. I hope you'll see how photography as art 
and photography taught by rules with these mistakes to avoid are very different things. Your mistakes are your style. Now, if we were all perfect photographers, we'd all produce the same results. And how boring would that be? Imperfections then reveal your style, who you are. They set you apart from the next photographer, and not always in a bad way, as you may be thinking. Remove and iron out all those mistakes then, and your images may start to lack character and your own particular style. Style is just mistakes then, degrees of mistakes. The artist Grayson Perry says the same thing in art, in the art world, you know, paintings and stuff. He says, if there were no mistakes in art, we'd all be making photographs, as it'd all be so perfect. Well, we are creating photographs, of course, us snappers, but what is the perfect photograph? Is there a perfect example? We all seem to be afraid of making mistakes and trying to correct our mistakes to be perfect. We're back to those videos again, five beginner mistakes to avoid not doing all those mistakes then. But if we all learn not to do those, then we're just all getting closer to creating exactly the same type of images. Our vision, how we see the world, see locations differently, gives us individuality and style. We all see landscapes differently. Even our processing is different. Give each photographer the same one raw file to process, and you end up with many different interpretations and results, as you've no doubt seen in some of those videos too. None of them is right though, none the perfect example, none wrong either, all created with a different look and style. You'll no doubt see errors in one person's example, an error which they may identify as perfection, perfection in their eyes. Mistakes are to be embraced then, so stop chasing that perfection. You'll probably never achieve it anyway or be happy when you get there. I love when my images don't conform to an accepted composition technique, I love when my highlights blow out a bit. I love when my shadows have no detail. I love when there was less than ideal sharpness in my result, or more blur than intended, a bit more noise, more than others would accept themselves. They're chasing the perfect result, zero noise acceptance and pixel peaking to 200% to make sure every millimeter is pin sharp. Imagine being at a dinner party with one of those people. Therefore, never tell someone they've made a mistake in their image. It's only a mistake to you. Advise them of an alternative then, if they ask for your opinion that is, and then let them decide whether that's the ideal or not. Mistakes, there are no mistakes, only an ideal set by someone else. You must choose who is right, you or them. Okay, I'm off out to take some pictures, make some mistakes, develop my style, enjoy my photography, and maybe create some art. You should do the same. Bye.